It's a returning champion, Elgin Tensity. And all of this is Anna O'Brien, aka Glitter and Lasers. She's one of several fat acceptance activists who decided to lose weight over the past year, but resorted to surgery and meds without exercising intensely and reducing calories considerably. That's why Glitter and Lasers has the build of a grazer. After recovering from fat removal surgery for the past three months, that cannonball is back with a bang, ready to crush her workout equipment. Let's watch her complete what she thinks is a challenging exercise routine, when the only time she visits multiple stations in a hotel and leaves nothing on the table is at the breakfast buffet. Okay, so this is the hotel gym. Um, it's actually pretty nice, which I'm excited about. Uh, <laughs> I am getting my workout routine from an app called Trainwell. It used to be called Copilot. The name change aimed to differentiate the company from AI-driven services. While an AI generator would probably give her extra fingers, Copilot's programs wouldn't be able to remove her spare tire. I have no doubt that the company didn't want to sponsor her, because nobody wants to Copilot a blimp that's doomed to go under. I used them before my surgery, I love them, so it just made the easiest thing to transition back into it. It's not sponsored in any way, it's just what I use. So if you feel like someone's directing me, yes they are, through the app and through my headphones. I told her to give me like a beginner workout. I can't imagine it's gonna be that hard. <laughs> Watch it be so hard. I mean, I've gotta maintain something, right? Uh, but I'm gonna just try to keep my expectations low. I don't want this to be a defeating experience. I wanna be just excited that I get to do it again. I'm so type A. She meant to say type two. Also, avoiding the gym so much that she weighs about 500 pounds, yet claiming to be excited to work out makes her the third refrigerator in that room that everybody can see through. I'm gonna be so mad if it's hard. I'm gonna be so mad at myself. It's okay, it's part of the process. Sucking is the first step at being good at something. Especially if you're holding the vacuum during the lip edema surgeries to come, because all those encounters with that monster will result in a lot of XP. I don't know how her expectations can go any lower when she's been doing the same stretches, light cardio, and regress calisthenics exercises for the past year. She might actually lose some weight if she pushed herself nearly as hard as she pulled others into her orbit. So this actually doesn't have a walking workout for today, but I'm going to do one just because I know that it helps my joints get warm. Keeping your joints warm when they support that much weight all the time is like rewarding underpaid and overworked employees with a pizza party. They still hate you. So yeah, I'm gonna just do like five minutes on the treadmill really. Just a slow pace, like not even fast. Just to like get moving again. The most expensive pre-core treadmill is rated for up to 400 pounds, which she far exceeds. She might dress and move like a glacier, but her impact causes titanic destruction like an iceberg. That's the first time I've kept a pace in walking since surgery. The fuck? So that was harder. And I'm out of breath. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It was okay. People have better walking form at Diddy's Freak Offs. In her next workout video, she should have a guy playing the tuba behind her. He'd not only make the video more entertaining, he'd burn more calories than O'Brien. This sounds weird. I haven't had surgery on my calves, but I think my calves have shrunk. Because these go up just a little too easy now. So I think I, think I need to buy a smaller sizing compression in my socks. We'll deal with that another day. <laughs> What up now? Or maybe they stretched. Her legs are so enormous that the treadmill felt more impact through the socks than Gomer Pyle. 30 seconds of windmill. If that's a windmill, then I'm Don Quixote, because all I see is a giant. Windmills are supposed to grind grain, not knee joints. This is all performative cringe. She should just jump into a pool, and if there's any water left, go for a swim. She might actually burn more calories than she consumes, as long as nothing gets trapped in her baleen. When they say that pulling like this means you eat butt, for glitter and lasers, they'll have to specify whether it's the one on the front or the one on the back. I am one movement. One movement in my lower back is sore. And I just, I guess I forgot what it feels like when you first start working out. So you guys know that it sucks. It sucks. And I think that's why a lot of people stop, because they don't think it gets better, and it does. But the beginning sucks so hard. It's like moral for life. The beginning of everything sucks. It's whether you can like push through the suck to determine whether you get the good part of it or not. So, here's the pushing through the suck. <laughs> the only time she should turn her head like that is when someone offers to refill her trough. 
twisting an overloaded spine is twisting the knife. She walked for five minutes and did nursing home rehab for probably another five. The only thing pushing through the suck is the blood in her clogged arteries. I guess the only time she has full elbow extension is when she's reaching for her bags at the drive-thru. With one arm up, that would be a waiter's walk. With two, that's a waiter's walk to Anna O'Brien's table for one. Okay, first set is done. Was not as hard as I thought it would be. Definitely took a little while for my body to like kick in, but uh, I'm okay, I'm good. Oh, time for set two. She needs to worry about kicking the bucket. She continued to strain her joints by loading them improperly. If sucking is the first step to being good, then blowing out her knees is the last step. Earlier she said that her lower back hurt one exercise in, but it actually hurts because she's thousands of calories over week in and week out. <sighs> the song was giving, so I started doing this. It was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> and she never will be. Two months ago, she walked over two miles for a bagel, including a one-hour break for cotton candy. The fact that sweets motivate her to pound the pavement explains why she looks like a blue raspberry snow cone that hit the ground. This is the worst of all the exercises for me. This one. Ooh. It's acceptable to make funny faces in the gym, but not when you're just standing up with more or less your own body weight. She wouldn't grimace so much if she weren't built like him. When I talked to my trainer, um, I did say to her, I don't want to like overwhelm myself too much. I'm still recovering. Being overwhelmed by a beginner workout is like dying in the tutorial. And the only recovery she needs is from her food addiction. Her train well contact is a moron who should have just told her to go for walks and swims, preferably with someone trained in CPR. O'Brien needs to find a trainer who can tailor a program to someone that rotund. After all, when you resemble an angry puffer fish, you need highly trained specialists to serve you. And I think this was like the perfect first workout. It was challenging, but it wasn't like, it didn't break me. And honestly, I think that like whole belief that workouts should break you is not like a tremendously healthy perspective. I think it makes a lot of people stay away from the gym, which is like not the long-term goal. Nobody is taking advice on healthy perspectives and long-term goals from someone who weighs 500 pounds after more than a year of trying to lose weight. I don't know why she thinks she can give advice of any kind, but Trainwell has that train wreck thinking she's the conductor. So like, I felt challenged, but I also didn't feel like it was easy. Um, but I also, you know, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and probably be okay, which is perfect. So now I'm gonna go clean up because I'm disgusting. <laughs> well, that's true. She reminds me of Pearl from Blade. Not just because they're giant blobs, but because feeling the burn for more than a few seconds would be the end of them. You know, I made a lot of progress prior to my surgeries on my fitness game, and I was nervous about confronting myself with the fact that I'm not there anymore. She's in 2019 because she looks exactly the same as she did in her Gillette ad that year. The only thing she's ever had in common with Venus is that she's heavily marbled. So? I guess I'm back in my fitness girl era. O'Brien's fit girl era will still only be the second biggest glitter bomb of all time. And let me know if you guys want to see more workouts in the future. I just wanted to share this one because it really was a big one for me to come back to working out after three months of literally like doing nothing. So <laughs> feels good. The post-workout high is a real thing. Runners get highs. Waddlers get high blood pressure. If she doesn't learn how to limit her calories and lift properly and with higher intensity, then she'll be fat and weak no matter what medical shortcuts she takes. Like every fat acceptance activist, she gets defensive when confronted with these facts about her health. She wants to post more workouts, but there's no point if she'll make no progress because she's lazy and inconsistent. If I wanted to see a fat internet personality scream for attention and snap at the very people keeping her alive, I'd watch Mudang. Zero!